G'day all, Tazdaz here again with another deck profile. How long was the, was the last one? How long has it been? Um, it's been a while. But set 9's come out and uh, there's a deck that I should be deck profiling. Uh, but I don't have everything for it yet. It looms over me. I'm patiently waiting for singles uh, to, be, to uh, be able to be purchased. But for now, I have a deck that I love very much, very near and dear to my heart, that I want to show off, that I only recently properly completed. Very, very much in love with this deck plays like a dream. It's a uh, Deck Out Simulator 2023. Also known as uh, Michu. <laughs> this deck um, draws a lot. You draw so much in this deck. And uh, I fucking love it. Fucking love it. Now this you know, this deck's kind of like solved. I'm not like saying anything like that hasn't already been said in terms of card choices and stuff in the deck. Um, but uh, the reason I want to show off this deck is because nobody has put uh, Cannonball from Mega Man Zero Three as the background music for their Michu deck profiles, and I think that is a crime. So we have to run the Michu starter. <laughs> Unfortunately, I like it though. Kawada is my favorite um, Vanguard artist. So, yeah, it's nice that we get to use this, but I would like to use my SP Celestial starter. Uh, but yeah, we need the Michu starter because uh, the grade one for the ride deck says that when we ride over a grade zero with Michu in our card name, um, we search our deck for a copy of all setup, which we're only running one copy of. And we're gonna put it straight into our order zone. All set up. It's grade one set order. That says um, if you have a Vanguard with Michu in its card name, you can rest this card to Soul Charge 1, and then you choose up to one Cannon War card from your hand and put it into your order zone. That doesn't count as playing an order, it doesn't count for, uh, when we put the this in order zone from that, it doesn't count as playing an order. So we can still play orders during our turn. We're just putting orders into our order zone, which is nice. Uh, we're also running the grade two for the ride deck, um, which is when it's placed over the grade one with me two in its card name. We can look at the top five for a cannonball order or for a copy of Nokono, which is our glitter partner for the deck. And finally, my Elisa Michu. Uh, she has two skills. First and foremost, she has an act ability. If you have an all set up in your order zone, you can counter blast one, draw a card, and then you can choose a card from your hand to call to regard circle, or you can discard a card from your hand. So pretty much, you're only gonna use this ability if like you need to dig for another rear guard, or you're like digging for a flat, uh, for a cannibal order, or you're digging for a no cano, right? That's those are the only times you're really using that effect. Otherwise, we're just going to be using our cannonball effect, which is uh, auto vanguard. When this unit attacks a vanguard, we can soul blast two, choose one of our opponent's rear guards, retire it, and this unit gets plus five k until the end of the battle. She also has glitter so she can activate not gonna skill um, so that's yeah it's cool it's a, a solid ride line that helps you get set up all set up even for our grey threes for the deck we're not running too too much we are running our three percent ride copies you could also run a um, copy of Gradius Gradeal in this deck I'll show you where we can take the card out to uh, insert it into the deck. 
I'll show you a couple places where we can insert it actually, but Persona riding is important, helps us get extra power in our front row, and also helps make our um, Nokono swings bigger uh, when our opponent is Grey 3. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. We're also running our four copies of Flower Cannonball. It's currently the only Cannonball order. Um, we can play it with Counterblast 1 from our hand, but we'll never pay Counterblast 1 to play it because we'll always be playing it off of all setup. And um, when this card's put into your order zone, you draw a card. Uh, you know, so do that. <laughs> and then order zone, if we have a grade 3 or grade of Vanguard with Michu in its card name, we can put this card into our drop zone um, and charge and change charge one and change all of our vanguard's cannonball abilities to when this unit attacks soul blast to choose three of your units and they get plus 10k until the end of turn until the end of turn so michu loses her retire effect but gains extra power and this is like super important this is like the skill we're pretty much using like all the time so Having access to our cannonballs is really important, and having access to recycling our cannonballs and re-putting them into play is really important, so we're running three copies of Vine. If you don't like Vine, if you don't like this card, you can run it at two, and you can run a Gridale instead. Um, but when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have all set up in your order zone, this unit gets plus 5k until the end of the battle, then you can put a set order from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck to get another 5k. So she is a way to recycle set orders. Technically, I guess you could use her in decks that aren't meet you. Uh, probably not. We'll cut that by. So yeah, uh, she's really good for recycling and getting these back to our deck. And with how much we can draw in this deck, it's really, really fucking easy to deck out first and foremost, um, <laughs> but also, um, yeah, recycling is nice. So those are our grade 3s for the deck. For our grade 2s, again, we're not running a whole lot. We're running, like, fuck all grade 2s, pretty much. We're running four copies of Renovair. Uh, she's a 10k shield and a 13k beater, if we have all set up on our order zone. Um, so, yeah, 10k shield in hand, 10k intercept, 13k beat up, what's not to love about this card? It's super nice. And then three copies of Remory. Um, I wouldn't lower this. You could increase the number of Remories if you want. Um, when she attacks a grade 3 or grade of Vanguard, if our auto zone has all set up, she gets plus 5. Um, did I say... Grow through greater Vanguard or unit? It says unit on the card. I'm, I might be stupid. Um, <laughs> I may be stupid, but I am not a porn star. Um, when this unit attacks, uh, hits something, anything. If it just hits in general, we can solve last one um, to choose a cannonball from our drop and put it into our order zone, which is another way to recycle. So she is really important. So you can run like a four copy of her if you really desire. But she is an on hit, so that uh, is something to take note of. For our grade ones, we're running a lot. This is like the most, I think, that we're running in the back. Uh, we're running three copies of Nokono. We're finally talking about her. She is the partner. She's the glitter partner for Michu. Um, so her glitter effect is back row regard, back row center regard circle. At the end of the battle, your vanguard attacked. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, counterblast one and discard a card from hand to stand this unit. Swap the position of your vanguard with this unit, and at the end of the turn, swap the position of that swapped unit with this unit. Soul stays in the same place. So basically. On our grade three turn going set, on our turn three going second, or our turn four going first, our um, let's say this is our 
damage. Alright, that's our damage. Here's our vanguard. We get to do this. We have Soul Blast 2 for the cannonball effect to uh, give them, let's say we give um, Regard, Regard, and Nokono power, right? They're swinging 31. Then, at the end of the battle, we counterblast one, we discard a card from our hand, we re-stand Nokono, and they swap. And now Nokono is swinging 18, because she keeps her power from, um, from the cannonball effect off the flower cannonball, and we swing with the drive. So we get a second vanguard swing, pretty much. It's like a more round, it's a weird roundabout way of like doing a restanding vanguard. Um, but it's interesting and it's cool. Because we get that um, second vanguard swing. And we can like put all our power on the booster and we can do this, that and the other. And it's, it's all fun in games. And what's really nice with Nokono herself is that when an order card is put into our order zone, um, if we don't have a Nokono in play already, we can soul last one and call her to back row center, which is just awesome. So even if she's in drop, we can get her back as long as, uh, yeah. So as long as we are putting orders in our order zone, which is really nice, because like, we, like, let's say you open Nokono on, uh, on turn one. She's in your opening hand. You can ditch her for ride deck. And then when the grade one puts all set up in the order zone, when this grade one puts all set up in the order zone, you can salt blast the starter to call it back. And then you can activate all set up to actually get the soul back, which is really nice. Um, so, so another way we're gonna get Nokono into our discard pile is our new promo um, that I only just got recently. <laughs> it's not that new. It's like a couple months old. Thanks, uh, Kairos, for helping me get this, by the way. Um, <laughs> we're only two copies of it. It's a uh, light that shines on solitude. Basically, if we have a Michu Vanguard, um, we can search our deck for a Nokono and put it into our drop. Or, if we have the Nokono already in back row center, it's a counter charger for the deck, which is just awesome. So no matter what, it's a really useful card. And uh, yeah, it's really sick. It's really, really sick. We're also running three copies of Aura, which is another way we can search our uh, Solitude. It's a way we can search our flower cannonballs, and it's also a way we can search for our Elementaria EG. So, um, it's just a really nice card overall, because it's a 6k booster, right? But if the thing it boosted hits a Vanguard, oh no, no, just hits in general. When it just hits in general, right? You can retire it to search your deck for any order to win your hand. So, because of how generic it is, I think it's better than Ilse, um, which is the other on-hit searcher for this deck. Um, Ilse has an advantage where, instead of being able to search out these two orders, it only searches out cannonballs, but it also searches out glitter. So you can search for Nokono and you can search for uh, Persona Ride copies of Michu, uh, which is really nice. But Aura is just more generic, being able to let you search for orders and she lets you grab whatever you want. Unlike Ilse, which is like top five, this is specifically searching for an order, so that's really cool. Of course, we're running this in a copy. Uh, because fuck guard restrict, fuck chrono jet. Um, I don't really think. That, I don't know. Fuck grade four decks in general. Um, don't think that. Um, I don't know. Guard restrict is like the big thing here though. Uh, with playing this. Um, because this gets uh, activated. Because orders go to order zone, right? Even blitz orders go to order zone, so they don't go to. Guardian Circle, so you can PG with this, even with Guard Restrict. 
Uh, but we, you know, also running our three normal PGs. Um, and yeah, that's all our grade ones for our deck. And then the trigger count is like nothing special, like at all. It's one OT, uh, fucking eight crits, four intersols, three draws, and four heals. I don't like fronts in this deck because it doesn't really work with um, the swapping mechanic of Nokono and uh, and Michu. Because if you activate a front when you, if you like trigger a front, right, when you swing with Michu, Nokono isn't going to get that power. So her swing like doesn't have the extra power that um, just a draw trigger is going to help you. Uh, put on that Nokonite, right? And, um, yeah, be really careful with this deck. It is a deck out simulator. Um, you just soul charge so much, you draw so much. Yeah, you're searching your deck a fuck ton. You get so many cards out of your deck. I pretty much see OT, like, every game. Like, whether I draw into it, or I soul charge it, or I, um, or damage check it, yeah. no matter what happens, right, you'll always see OT in the stack, I think. Um, just be really careful you don't deck out, don't spam this, uh, skill, this, uh, this CB1 skill, don't spam it. You know, be really careful with your uh, soul charging. Only soul charge when you really need to. Uh, if you, I think you should uh, during the whole ride, um, during the whole phase of riding up into your grade three, you should keep all set up in. But um, don't forget, you know, we do also have our crits if you desperately need soul. Um, I can't think of much else to say. This is one of my favorite decks. In, this is my favorite deck in standard right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm really glad we finally got this promo in English. Um, and yeah, that's my build, I guess. Um, can't wait for more support whenever, whenever Lyrical Set Force coming out. Thanks. Uh, bye.